everyone, I'm Rena. Thank you so much for joining the Church of God of Prophecy in Trenega Park. This week, we continue to expound on our series, Be Fruitful and Multiply. Genesis 1 verse 26 speaks so much of how we are made in God's image and in His likeness. Brother Christopher Brown expounds on this, on the authority that we're given and the fruitfulness from which we should operate. But let's dive into this message. Where is 
Let the most shall. We're not negotiating. We're not going to own a little peace and then you are going to own. You and I are not going to coexist here. It's complete authority. It's either all or none. And we're coming to take over every single space. Yeah. Woo! Jesus, my God. Come on, man. Say complete authority. Complete authority. Jesus, get up on the
seriously? Prophet says you might have a castle on the Christmas tree. I know you have insecurity. I know you have issues. But if he says he's a, he has all authority and all power, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Is it the speaker or hallelujah, God? Jesus. Let that abode shelter. Let's just worship God for a second, please. Let that abode shelter. Let's just worship God. I don't want to move too fast and you miss it. I don't want you to move too fast and you miss it. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. So what Jesus is echoing is something that was said long ago. All right, so just to prove to you that he was in the conversation. Amplify it again. Go back to Genesis 1. So who is talking here? Jesus. Yes, you miss some little things, you know, that's why you need the Holy Spirit. All right? So, it opens up, the scripture opens up by saying, what? Read it for me. God said. God said, and amplify said, them not understand again, Chris. You just say, God said, what that mean? Who is in this conversation? Because if you miss who is in this conversation, then when Jesus said it over there, you now will understand that he was also a part of this conversation right here when everything started. Hey, God, so you have a love amplified. Big up yourself, amplified. So amplified said, God says, but break it down for us. So amplified said, let us. Who is talking? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So some was saying, hey, let us make man and let them have complete authority. Then some go back over in a Matthew and said, I have given you God. What more you want? Well, the Father and the Son and the Spirit says it. And if the sun come back over before we leave and say it again, my pastor, I'm not know about me and you. I'm not going to a chance you know, in this. But we have to believe. Amen? Amen. Amen. We have to believe Amen. that we're not negotiating. You understand? We're not negotiating. And it's Jesus clarified for us that it's not just in heaven, but authority has been given. So pray different now. I mean, even that in itself should allow you to pray a little bit different. You understand? So, when people say, the devil that take over, that's incorrect. Yes, he may be because we give him a chance, but he cannot be because it's not an authority issue. Come on, no man. What's the issue? It's a matter of exercising authority. So we can't get away with it now. It is said here, we are to read it in Matthew 28. So if the devil has taken over, an authority issue. You trouble to learn words we can read. They're not noises. Even the basic school, you're in trouble. Just the fact that you can read that off on the screen, you're in trouble. So devil around the town. Who's for? So make like somebody take responsibility. So when we see him loose in society, who's for? Who can I don't have a no 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 no? Can't say that. It's not authority. It's not power. Because already I told you and I distributed it to everybody. So do Jesus no work again? Come, Jesus, come, no work again. He 
it's you. This change your prayer again. Because come Jesus, come and do, but hold on, I never take it back. Who are you asking me something to do when I'm delegated it to you? God, come on, sure, that time. Hey, can I? Hey, can I? Oh, man, na na na. Hey, can I? He never take it back, prophetess. He never take it back. So we have to change how we pray. Because we can't just go and file stuff to him and say, Jesus, come and do. Because you have the authority to get it done. sometimes so we're going somewhere church and I wanted just to cap, recap get ready with our images so the initial please that's where we're going back here so we are talking about being fruitful and multiply yeah. amen yeah. and so after God told them their scope of authority amen, amen. he said to them he blessed them sorry and said to them, be fruitful, multiply, <laughs> and fill the earth. You don't have no problem now because you're not there. You understand? Go, go in confidence. Go in confidence. Fill the earth. There's no place that nobody can argue with you about. That you can't come here so and rule. Jesus. Come on, man. Let, let me translate it. There's no place that you can travel to. There's nobody who can deny your visa. Because some of you don't understand the scripture unless it is. <clears throat> you understand? So when the Lord says you are going to travel, you are going to be in Africa, Spain, wherever it is, come back to the scripture. When you're asked if you can get the visa, this is what qualifies you for the visa. Amen. Not the embassy. This is what, this is purpose. And if your purpose line up with this word, and your purpose said you should be in Africa, you should be in New Zealand, you should be wherever you are, then you can go, I am going for the visa. God said, go on, no? Amen. Why you ask me purpose and call you? A time for your answer. Who said that? Randall. <laughs> purpose and call you. A time for your answer. Amen? Yeah. Amen? It doesn't matter. I, I mean, 
let me be realistic. You could go there the first year and then turn it on. Yeah, man. And then you say, yes, you need a scale, Chris. See? See that? See for that, Chris? See that? Then not give me. Now you say, me hear God talk, and God is right. You're going to be in my drink. And then I go for the visa, Pastor. <laughs> and then they give me. That's what you believe. That's what you believe. So what does that mean? What which one it means? So God wants to know how much you believe in your purpose to chase it and to be determined that we not settle for less than what you say, God. You understand the language of God. Sometimes it tells you that you are going to receive this, and when you go for it, you don't get it. <laughs> Let me see how determined you are for this thing. <laughs> Woo! Amen. 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 Hmm. So if you can understand things of the spirit, you will see that denial as a deterrent to pursue purpose. Yeah, yeah. But when you get that, those who are spiritual say, God, I know we believe in some never trouble. They'll not give me the pizza. Yeah. That's normal people in the spirit, but that's normal in the natural. Yeah. So it's in your it's in your DNA to prosper. Kabusha. You always are start at the wrong place because you look into your mother, hey the Baba Shatter, and your grandparents, and maybe your great grandparents. But the Spirit of the Lord says, look in your lineage, Katabasa. Look in your lineage. Look at the people who were following me. Look at the people who are following me. He says, but the descendants of Israel, which is your descendant, which is your forefathers, your spiritual grandparents, He said they were fruitful and increase abundantly. He said not just that, they were multiplied and grew exceedingly strong and the land was Tell us. 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 Tell us.
So what you're preaching is for it. No, 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 no. Test and approval. Test and approval, son. Genesis 1 said, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, take dominion. Exodus says, you know some of your people? Yeah, man. They were fruitful enough. You know, they increase. Not just that, you know, they have this thing on them that they just started to multiply. Whatever they were fruitful in, they just start to multiply that thing. You know, get it? Whatever they were fruitful in, they started to multiply. Whatever they were fruitful in, they started to multiply that thing.
But don't accept that you're not wealthy without doing your own research for yourself. There are lands that I personally have inheritance to that I have not got yet. There are lands that I know about personally. My mother has lots of land in Hunter Lake, Upper St. Andrew. And, and, and I'm told the property that we bought um, at my father's house in the country, there's land attached to it up in, in Slagoville Hills. Not yet acquired. Amen. Don't take it lightly. Hallelujah. And there's reference. Leave them alone. 
Worse if they're not saved. Leave them alone. They're not trying. They're trying. But they don't have power. They don't have the advantage that the Bible gave them. They don't have the advantage where the born again people have. It, it's an advantage, you know. Because think about it. You come up in a one broke family and then you're born again. And then God says, here we know. Forget about your family. Forget about auntie, punsi, whoever. Here we know. This is what I'm, you're born into. And God starts the conversation with you and says, you're the sentence word.
Exodus 3, 7, to show you the big setup. I'm going to be starting with that. But the Lord land on Exodus 1, 7, to show us that this being food for that multiplier that we have been talking about, maybe over two months now, he says, here is your reference, Pastor. Hey, Kata. Jesus. I sat there and I said, God, we're in this season and people want to hear Kata, but God said, don't change your agenda. Take Kata, Because sometimes we have these, these quote unquote special services and we want to shift. That's it. And God said, do not change. Do. As he said to her, to, to Joshua, do not look to the left or look to the right. Hey, This is what today is. You have family. You are following after God Almighty. Woo! Jesus, come on, no man. Worship God for a few seconds. of who we are and all that we were created to be. I trust you were truly blessed by this word. Just a recap from last week's message that I think ties in so well. God does not create sinners, nor does he create Christians. He creates his sons and his daughters, you and I, to fulfill purpose in the earth. Please share this word with somebody else to be blessed and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining and have a good week.